So welcome back everyone to a new episode of Fresh from the Flea. First off, we are going to the swap meet. That's all I gotta say, swap meet, swap meet, swap meet. But we do hit up a thrift store, a little surprise right in the beginning. If you guys haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, as well as turn those notifications to see when I upload immediately. As well as that, I do have a Depop shop. Check the link down below, that's all I gotta say. A lot of vintage, high-end, new. A lot of the stuff I do find in the videos are gonna be down there, so check that out. And a reminder, I do legit checks, $5 through PayPal. Remember, hit up my DM on my Instagram, at Fresh from the Fleet, and we'll start from there. We got Bape, Chrome Hearts, as well as Supreme. If you guys haven't seen my legit check videos, go check them out, because those are free. But if you want private consultation, hit up your boy. Let's hit the spot. You honestly, you love to see it. You love to see it. Not that much hype of a piece, but Cat in the Hat, nonetheless, and Supreme. At the thrift store for uh, 249. All right, it's all about that. Nice, nice. No rips, holes, tears. Maybe little marks. Something like Moco marks or something else, man. To clean that up. The print is insane. Wow. This is another thing coming to the thrift store this early in the morning is will I come up, will I not? Sometimes it's a hit or miss. You just gotta go for it. How can you find if you do not search? So that's why I always say, look in places that you do not expect. Supreme for the win. Look at that. They do got Thanos over here. Look at that face. A little comic book accurate for you guys with the broken arm gauntlet. Insane. So, in the pile, for $5, we got an extra, extra large men's, a North Face Denali, in an amazing great colorway. I mean, winter is coming. Pretty much when you wear it, you find it, okay? TNF, TNF said we were out here but it's been a slow day I gotta admit it's been a slow day but it's all fun man just look for everything you guys gotta check this out okay I've seen some doozies in my day but this one takes the cake check out these it's completely painted over red all of them all of it even the carbon fiber which I believe is real Let's see. you know what that's fake <laughs> my god we got the off-white zip tie beetle mania from 1983 i believe a belt buckle and then we got the mastermind japan patch that was hiding in the pile these were all picked up for literally for three bucks so check it out we do got a guess originals made in usa full-on denim velcro back this is not just some creation or giveaway it actually has the guest tag on it which is awesome to see again vintage guest is always good depending on what pieces you do find and there we go one dollar look what i found over here hanging we got some vintage polo i have to see how much this thing is we got a little polo on the right side right there that's a nice one going back to uh, my polo days I just can't get away from it. Seriously, I wasn't gonna say no for five bucks. I had to scoop it up. We got some vintage polo, uh, another knit sweater. I have a whole collection and this is just another one. This one's a male one too. So you got the male sizing on a size medium and you know that baggy fit, 90s fit. You gotta situate it over here, man. You gotta situate it. So when am I rocking on feet? Does anybody wanna know? I got some uh, B3 990s on. Super comfy, man. You like scared the hell out of me over here. <laughs> Always coming up on some little stuff over here, but uh, this is nice. 1996, got a vintage champion snapback. With the trades, man. With all the trades. That's a nice one with the stars and everything. Just have USA right in the front. Got the Olympic rings. What more can you ask for?
three pieces here. I see Pepper Pig. Um, check this out. We got a Nixon watch. I don't know if it works, but uh, the whole bundle was pretty much seven dollars. I got a 1997 Bart Simpson wind up. Uh, we'll try to see if that thing works. And these are amazing. Some 90s Sergio Tacchini, completely licensed out and 90s out, looking like Versace over here. I can only tell you this is what the swap meet's all about. Coming up on random stuff, but just knowing what to look for, picking up right on the spot, and coming up. Check out some more. So I'm just rummaging through literally a box of stuff kind of like this when they're when they're setting up and I found this and originally I thought it was just a fake you know bootleg scarf until I found the tag now let's go look at the tag so if you guys know about Louis Vuitton stuff you want to see this tag first off I mean people use these as blankets sometimes but uh there's a bunch of stuff around here 10 bucks you know I wasn't gonna pass up but that's just crazy I had my doubts but when I checked it came back all clean Say rest in peace to the goat Kobe got a nice Kobe NBA one over here it's all it's all here man it is all here stop, stop, stop. going on right now I'm actually walking to the ATM because I didn't have enough cash I literally came up on a Burberry I believe it's a full leather trim PVC 100% Burberry and it's kind of vintage it's a horse fairy Nova check that I haven't came across ever before usually it's scarves I always come up on scarves Gracias. so he just gave me a little deal on that man I had to go get the 20 literally went to the ATM because the ATM is just shot over here it's completely gone but check that out has trades all over this thing also has a removable pouch with the logo i mean the cleanliness of the stitching tells you all but this stuff is stuff i just don't come around that often we got some easies over here on this guy and uh there it is and we got burberry horse fairy this is the tag, the keep away from fires, trim all over here. That's what this is. It's 100% leather trim. It's got logos all over it of the uh, the night. But, I mean, Novacek is Novacek. And yes, it's a purse, but that's a beautiful come up. The swap made for the low. And they got the 100% cotton on the inside. When it's something like this, I mean, blatant out in the open. That's what the swap meet's all about. Rummaging through insanity and coming up onto it. I literally come up on a few things here and there all the time and one thing is gift cards like this one see best buy 2005 so this is 2005 best thing about these gift cards is they never expire five bucks could be two dollars it could be something that the original person who got the gift card or someone who bought it put on there and it doesn't disappear so i'm actually gonna check it right now because i've came up before not a lot but I've came up on like five bucks, six dollars here and there. Check the balance now. Not a seven. Okay, ready? Whoa. Oh my God, dude. No way. Dude, that, that is a, that's a freebie come up. Look at the old Best Buy gift card coming through for me. That's awesome. That's what the swap meet's all about. Coming up on nothing, but it is something. You just gotta know what to look for. Look, I got some PC uh, heaven over here. Okay. 
I did pull his head off, but I did find him. The Kobe Bryant bobblehead number eight. Kobe! <laughs> or licensed by Carl's Jr. That is awesome. All right, I found like almost the whole team, sort of. There was no Shaq, but we did get Kobe. One dollar. Thank you guys for watching. Yes, among the pieces that I did find, some Louis Vuitton, Burberry, Sergio Tacchini, as well as that, we did pick up at the thrift store, which blew my mind, $2.49. We got the Supreme shirt. I mean, among other things that I did pick up in the video, these are the pieces that did stand out, and I just gotta say thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.